everyone, I hope you're all well. Oh, how weird, I didn't start with good morning vlogmas, it's not vlogmas. Um, hey everyone, my name is Hannah, if you haven't watched before. Um, you seem to like the vlogmas videos that I did. Um, they received, well I mean, they probably received about the same amount of response as previous years, it's just resonated with me more this year maybe, I don't know. But I thought, um, bring back the vlogs. So I'm going to be bringing back the vlogs in 2021. Cause why not? Plus it's a perfect excuse to put some makeup on. Not that I need one. Um, but yes, I hope you're all well, that you had a lovely festive season. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a great one or you made the most of it. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a lovely time celebrating what you celebrate and also if you celebrate nothing, I hope you had a nice December. Uh, Happy New Year to you all. It's mad that it's 2021 and um, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of feels like a fresh start. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. I mean, nothing has changed. Um, the UK, yesterday it was announced, yesterday evening, that the UK is in full lockdown, just like we were in March, with schools and colleges and universities closed. Um, for England at least, it's, I think it's meant to be till the end of February or something mad. This new strain of the virus is no joke, so please remember to wash your hands and to wear a mask. I don't need to tell all of you, you're all sensible. Um, I'm trying to do cat watch. I don't have my glasses on and I can't tell is that a cat or is it a log so that's fine. Currently enjoying a delicious cup of sweet pumpkin pie by Bird and Blend at uh, one of their seasonal teas. But blimmin delicious. All of the Christmas decorations are down, all of the Christmas mugs have gone away. It's technically we've still got one day of Christmas left because it's only the fifth. And everyone knows there are 12 days of Christmas and today is day 11. Um, Cause the wise men, they've not got there yet. I mean, they, they came two years later, but you know, epiphany on the 6th. But um, we're leaving the Christmas lights up above the fireplace because they were nice. And yeah, other than that, it's just business as usual. Um, yeah, I've got a podcast going up on Friday in which I talk about various things I've knit and I'm knitting. And the plan for today is to make the stitch marker clubs. So that's fun. Um, it was a bit weird. Last night I went to bed just as Mario was getting up for work. So he got up at, well, he left the house at half past 11 last night to go to work for today. Um, this isn't a usual thing. He usually starts at like, three-ish, one at the earliest, um, but the croissants hadn't worked so he had to re go in early to shape them all so they can then all prove and bake, but hopefully that means he should be home at like 11-ish. Um, we shall see, fingers crossed. But, oh there is a cat, it's on the roof, I'll show you momentarily. It's a beautiful day and in my planner I have written that I need to leave the house today, so at some point I will try to leave the house and just go for a walk because cabin fever exists. All right, cat watch. There is a cat on the roof. This is not our cat. And I didn't know, oh no, that is a log. I didn't know if that was a cat. It's not, it's a log. But cat number one. And there was a cat sat there all day yesterday. Um, but yeah. We don't know whose cats these are, but I love them. And this is the dye shed that I need to do some work with. Um, I need to contact a plumber and get them in first of all and see if it's possible for them to plumb this. Um, the window needs replacing because there's a hole in it and there's a crack in the middle one and there's cobwebs for days. We also stuck our Christmas tree in there so we can dry it out and then we'll get an axe and contribute it to the firewood. Um, but yeah. So I have stuck the poster up. The desk is here. Yes, it's a mess. And then, yeah, I've stuck up my wall planner. I just need to plan on it now. Um, 
Because, yeah, I need to put my shop update on it. And when I want to ship the clubs and stuff and sort all that out. So, when I have a virtual show coming up, I believe it's the 24th, if my brain serves me well. I can put people's birthdays on it and, and the like. Hopefully it will make me feel somewhat more organised. But we shall see. If nothing else, it's a beautiful shade of yellow. So I need to pick out the beads that I'm going to use for my stitch marker club. Oh, it's really tough. I'm very last minute and I don't tend to decide what I'm going to make until like I need to make it. I have options like going around my head, but I can never seem to like settle on it. And sometimes I start making them and then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want that. So I think those are the colors I'm going to be going for. Oh, that's very exciting. You know, we're going a bit, mono bit monochrome with a bit of a sparkly red to fun. You obviously will not see me ma making them because it's a surprise. I was making myself a slice of toast and cat drama is kicking off. I mean, it's not dramatic, but this silver cat, eh. Silver Tabby, and then this was the one that I showed you before. And the Silver Cat Tabby is encroaching on the sunbathing space. Oh no! Don't fight! Just social distance across, there's a whole, there's a whole roof. Oh God, I hope they're okay. update the brown tabby cat is back clearly they won they did a bit of exploring around all of the wood that stacked up and now is back on the roof um, the Sun has gone and the clouds are here so there was snow forecast for today I don't know if it's going to though but we shall see um, what you just saw was how I make my Yorkshire tea biscuit brew um, which is very different from how I brew my loose leaf teas I do not bother timing it. I've tried timing it a few times, but it just, I just end up with a tea that's a bit too strong. So I mash, I mash around a tea bag till it's the right color after I put milk in. <laughs> I'm not that much of a tea snob. Oh, I need to put the milk away. Right, okay, enough procrastinating. I don't know what time it is. I need to start bead weaving. My sister got me this little light for Christmas so I can have a little light and not have to put a bigger light on if it's a bit dark which is today so I'm gonna test it out and I can move it around these te ne technically meant to be used for reading but yeah it's quite useful um, so I'm gonna give that a whirl today and see if it helps yes Ugh, everything is messy I'm still beat weaving. I've only made three of the stitch marker club. I keep getting distracted. Um, I mean, it's been an hour and a half. Okay, I do keep getting distracted. So, I had the idea, and I've just posted on the gram, um, that I'm kind of tempted to have a sock down lock, a lockdown sock down, where I try and just knit a few pairs of socks during this lockdown. 
I don't know if that's a terrible idea, especially because I have like other things I also want to knit. But it doesn't, I suppose it doesn't just have to be socks, it's just a fun catchy name. But, I don't know. Is anyone else in? I don't know. I kind of wish I'd known about it and thought about it before the podcast I recorded yesterday that's going to be going live on Friday, but I didn't, so. Um, but yeah, lockdown sock down. It rhymed. It's like the hoedown throwdown. Miley Cyrus. Crisscross across the floor, shuffle in diagonal. There was a time that I knew the dance to that and I was way too old to know the dance to that because I was at university, but one of my friends um, taught it to me and we used to do the hoedown throwdown. What a useful life skill that's turned out to be. <laughs> but is anyone else interested in like a lockdown sock down? Could be fun. No? I don't know. Just gives a sense of purpose to the lockdown. I mean, I know there's purpose to the lockdown, but I mean to my own individual life through lockdown. I don't know. But the sun is still shining and it has just gone 12, so I might try and go for a bit of a walk. Maybe you had mentioned um, that there's a park around. I was watching the Netflix documentary about the Yorkshire Ripper. I love a bit of true crime. I'm one of those people. Basically, I feel like a lot of people are one of, one of those people. Okay, it's meant to rain at two, so I should get out now. Hopefully Mario will be coming home soon, so I might drop him a text when I leave just to let him know that I've left the house and have gone for a walk. Because I mean, I wrote it in my planner. I wrote it in my planner for the day. Leave the house with two exclamation marks. Leave the house. Also, I said I was going to make 15 stitch markers and I'm three in, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it's pretty windy though. But a wrap up warm. Part of me is tempted to go over there. Was that a person or a cockerel? And don't just go up there, but that looks very steep. Very steep. Doesn't look as steep on camera. There's some kind of mad cockerel somewhere. Very steep. I might just keep walking this flat and see where I end up. Oh, it's so cold. I'm glad I have my fingerless mitts. These are the squirrel mitts by Suzanne of Green Lambkin Yarn. Oh god, there must be a farm just there or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's no one around. Probably because it's cold. It's so cold. Um, or I'm in the wrong part. Maybe I need to go in more. I don't know, that was a very steep hill. Um, but yeah. Oh, come on, it's midday. Why are you still crowing? Some of the times that I've filmed, it started to rain and then a blooming rainbow happens. That's so cool. I don't see one for ages and then, yeah, it's only light rain. It's fine, I'm heading home now anyway, but how cool is that? I'm back home. Slightly sweaty, very red face. Um, I had to remove the gloves, I just got very warm. But yeah, I had to go up that really steep hill. Not the first one I saw, I came down that one. I'm glad I came down that one because the one I walked up was muddy and a tiny bit slippery and I would not have enjoyed coming down that, but the one I came down was actually a path, so a bit better. But that was cool. 
Um, I saw maybe, I don't know, seven people maximum. Sorry, I thought Mario was home. Seven people maximum um, on my walk uh, when I actually got to the place. So it was super quiet, but the weather was beautiful. The cockerel was crowing and yeah, it was just pretty cool. Um, slippers are on. Right, okay. Enough procrastinating. I'll get myself a glass of water and time to get on with these stitch markers. I'm very thirsty. Whew. Sweaty mess. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of positive feedback about the lockdown sock down. Um, people saying they like the name. I say? I love a rhyme. Well, I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, I didn't know if I wanted to make it like a thing or just have it as like a me thing. But I think making it a thing is fun. And like something I really want to do with my social media platforms, I suppose, all of them, is to give that sense of community back because, I don't know, it's been very difficult this year for many people and I, I don't know, I just kind of want to give that sense of community back to all of you because you give, you basically support my business and allow me to do this full time. I want to give back to you, which is why I want to do more videos in 2021. I want to bring that sense of community to our community. So I encourage you to leave comments and chat with each other and all of that because it can be lonely, it can be weird. And uh, yeah, it sucks. So the lockdown sock down, I guess, is a way to uh, bring that community back. And uh, I don't know if I just want it to be socks, but it rhymed, so it worked. But I have so many other things I also want to be knitting. I don't know if it's going to be just an actual thing or if it's just going to be a hashtag. So many options, so many options, but yeah. There's a new cat in the garden. This is not a drill. There is a new cat, it's black and white, with a red collar, and I don't know who it belongs to, but I love them. Not the owners, the cat, I don't know. But yeah, time for another cup of tea. I am, <clears throat> I have made seven stitch markers now. Very exciting, and yeah. So eight more to go. Still watching the documentary about the Yorkshire Ripper. It's very interesting. It was in the late 70s that it all happened and um, I didn't really know anything about it. As I was not alive and also I'm not from Yorkshire nor have I ever lived in Yorkshire. So it was just very interesting because um, I am from the far south of England. Sussex, if you will. But yeah, it's just very, it's an interesting watch. Um, yeah, Mario's still not home. I don't know what time it is, but he's still not home. He says he's doing like office admin stuff, so hopefully he'll be home at some point soon because he's been at work for so long. Um, but yeah. yeah. He's now in charge because um, the owner's on maternity leave, so. I think, he, I think he's just settling into the role and getting a bit overwhelmed by it, but one step at a time. Oh my goodness, I can use that cool light that Charlotte gave me to light my face. Um, it's now later in the day, who's not surprised. Let's see if I can adjust this so I can still see. But now you're getting glare, mate, you're getting glare. Um, it's now quarter to five. Mary came home about three-ish. I finished watching the Ripper documentary, very interesting. Turns out I did already know who he was because I have watched documentaries about him or just eat true crime YouTube videos about him before, but I just forgot. I'm up to 10 stitch markers made. Um, I don't know why I've slowed down so much, but five more to go. And I believe Mario is making noodles tonight. He's currently having a shower. Um, he's pretty tired, which is understandable, seeing as he left for work at half 11. Uh, but he's back in work tomorrow morning at 3, so he'll have to have an early night anyway. But I don't mind, um, I was talking to him about it earlier, 
I don't mind the fact that he had to go in or he had to leave at half 11 last night to go to work because it's not like it was an expectation like it was over Christmas. This time it was because he made a mistake and he had to go in early to fix the mistake and also he came home earlier on Monday, yesterday. So I actually got to see him for a bit and he actually got some sleep. It's not that I have a problem with Mario being a baker and having to leave for work early. I have a problem with him being expected to work a 20 hour day and then sleep for two hours and then go back to work. But hey, um, hopefully that is no longer a thing as it is not Christmas anymore. -da -da -da. Um, so for the Stitch Marker Club, I'm not telling you what it is, but just to keep it interesting for myself, I'm switching up the colours of it, so you will get one of two colour possibilities. Oh, excuse me. You'll get one of two colour possibilities, which is quite exciting. And, yeah. That's it, that's what I'm going to say, because I don't want to give anything away. Um, yeah, if anyone knows of how to host a knit along, I'm really annoyed that I didn't think about doing the lockdown sock down. I didn't know we were going into lockdown again, in all fairness. The lockdown sock down yesterday when I recorded my podcast. So I could have announced it because that podcast goes live on Friday. How annoying. Anyway. Um, yeah, if anyone knows how to host a knit along. Oh god, I threw my scissors on the floor. Um, now Ravelry is... Um, not accessible to everyone please let me know the only other way that I can think to do it is to have a lockdown sock down blog and you'll comment underneath it but I can't respond to the comments and I don't know if you can leave pictures in the comments it's just a bit naff and then how do I contact you because I can't then ask for your email address because that's data mining I don't know it's all very confusing um Instagram seems like the most reasonable place and I pick it from the hashtag, see if I can. And you just have to, whenever you're knitting a sock, use the hashtag lockdown sock down. I'm gonna see if anyone has used that hashtag. Oh no, there is a lockdown sock down hashtag in use. Oh well, I'm gonna commandeer it. <laughs> There's even lockdown sock down giveaway. I could do lockdown sock down cow. Let's see if that works. Nothing found for lockdown sock down cow. Okay. That's a possibility. Just seems like a good thing. And yes, you can knit socks for other people. I've had a lot of people say they've knit. Oh gosh, I just threw loads of beads everywhere. Knit a lot of socks last year. So yes, you can knit socks for other people. So folks, it's the end of the night. I need to head off because I need to edit this vlog. I've made a grand total of 12 of the stitch markers that I need to make. So three to go, so which I might try and do after I finish editing. I did say that I would knit every day. And so far, I have not knit. But I might try and knit whilst editing. Um, that might be possible. I'm currently knitting the... Le Meilleur shawl, which is the squishy shawl. 
um, pattern by Mina Philip of the Knitting Expat. And I got my little wizard on him. Um, but yeah, this is knit out of Claire Nettleship yarns in the uh, Unicorn Kisses colorway. It's the pink, and then charcoal is the charcoal. Um, but dinner was very tasty. We well, Mario made noodles. And we had it with some um, pork that we'd made for our anniversary, and then had split into three. And we're very resourceful with leftovers. Um, and some broccoli, which sounds really good. Mary made a bit of a slaw. So yeah, very, very tasty. But he's gone to bed now, and it's 20 past seven. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna round off the video and then edit it. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this first vlog that isn't Vlogmas. I hope you liked it. If you did, please let me know. And also while you're down there, let me know if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe if you find my personality somewhat palatable. Um, I'm going to be trying to post three videos a week starting next week. This week you're only getting two videos. Um, there's a podcast coming on Friday, so that's very exciting. But if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, leave me a comment down below and... Let me know what you're getting up to. Are you going to join the lockdown sockdown cow? Which I think is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick from a hashtag. Oh, excuse me, I gurgled. Um, feel free to post your socks using hashtag lockdown sockdown cow. Crochet socks are also welcome, even though I have said it's a cow, but that's fine. Um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, please feel free. Links, as always, can be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need, such as my Burn and Blend discount code and all of that jazz. And, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been lovely spending the day with you, and I will see you in Friday's video. Bye. <laughs>